Hi children, I am Mrs. Pauline Gomez, your science teacher for Standard 4. You are coming back to school after a long vacation and you are now in Standard 4. There are a lot of more you have to learn than last year. And this year you have number of useful, interesting lessons together with that interesting projects and I am sure I will help you to enjoy the lesson. All lessons for this year is very personal. Today we are going to begin plant life. You look out of your window, you come out of your house, you see nature, big trees, small plants, tiny herbs. So we are going to look into our garden and see what is there, how they are useful to us, what do they give us, our plant life and that is what we are going to do. You are very fresh as I told you, you have come back so it is going to be a very easy lesson. You are fresh, ready to take in more knowledge, ready to tackle all problems, ready to do the beautiful, interesting projects in science. So have you taken a look at, just look at uh, outside, out of the window and you have seen plants. Now plants they give us food. You love food? Yes, all of us love food. Plants, food, we all love food. Food from plants. Let's see what food we get, okay? Now there are various plants in the garden. You have paddy, look at the picture over there. Call out what all you have to see in the picture. Paddy is being grown. Yes, millet. What else? Sugar cane. Coconut tree. You can see sunflower tree. Plant. Brinjal. Oh, lovely brinjals are hanging over there. Next to it, lady's finger. Snake gourd, large ones. And tomato. Okay, now, name some vegetables that have grown above the ground. Some are below, above the ground. Yes, brinjal, tomato, lady's finger, snake goat. All these are grown above the soil. Now, many of you will say, I don't like that vegetable. I don't like this vegetable. Now, what are, name, write down two vegetables you love to eat. Okay, tomato, brinjal, okay, whatever you like, you write. But all vegetables, plants give us food. Every food that plant gives us is good for our health. So let us cultivate the good habit of eating all vegetables that the plant gives us. We have a little story here. Let's listen to a beautiful story narrated by Mani. One morning, Mani and his grandfather were in the garden. Mani asked his grandfather, while tomato and brinjal grow above the soil, why does the groundnut grow underground? Grandfather answered that the groundnut plant stores its food in the roots as groundnuts. They walk toward their home, talking all the way. Meanwhile, Mani's father left home to buy provisions. Mani went along with him. In the vegetable shop, Mani saw a variety of vegetables. He took one potato and asked, Why is there mud on the potato? Potato grows under the ground. That's why you see mud on the potato. Father replied, Does the potato plant also store food in the root? Father 
answered not in the root but in the underground stem plants store their food in different parts like the roots the stem the leaf the flower the fruit and the seed so you see plants prepare food in all their parts flower fruit leaf stem seed root so all the food prepared by the plant children are useful for your body learn to cultivate to eat all vegetables all fruits that the plant gives you as food now you see the green leaves in all the plants the green leaf has got coloring green coloring green pigment the presence of chlorophyll makes it green now do you know plants prepare their own food with the help of sunlight water and carbon dioxide using chlorophyll present in their leaves this process is called photosynthesis it's a very important fact you need to learn you need four things here sunlight water air and the presence of chlorophyll in the, that's a green leaf all the four together is needed for the preparation of food it's a green leaf food is prepared in the green leaves green, green leaves helps the plant taking the sunlight using the carbon dioxide the chlorophyll and the water prepares food that preparation is called the process is called photosynthesis very good now what part of the plant what part of the vegetable is edible eatable the whole plant you cannot eat different plants different parts can be eaten from root to fruit what can be eaten look at the picture here food and parts beetroot carrot radish tapioca they are all root edible roots sugarcane onion potato ginger and turmeric they are all edible stem cabbage greens and mint leaves they are all edible leaves banana flower and cauliflower are edible flowers lady's finger bitter gourd drumstick they are unripe fruits guava fruit banana and grapes they are ripe fruits plants prepare and store their food and this stored food by the plants is useful for all living organisms so now we have learned plants for store food in their root that is beetroot carrot and radish tapioca in the stem tell me edible stems sugarcane onion turmeric potato and ginger leaves cabbage all the greens mint leaves then flowers you have banana flower and cauliflower lady's finger bitter gourd drum they are all unripe fruits and we also have ripe fruits like guava banana grapes all these are fruits so all parts from the root to the fruit there are edible parts in different plants we will go on now to seeds as food cereals like paddy wheat millet maize ragi and corn they are all cereals pulses like 
red gram, green gram, 